What's up, Captastic ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode in this PTCGO series. Today is play day for Survivor over here. As always, if you want to skip the deck analysis, just click the annotation on the screen or skip to around the 4-5 minute mark and it will take you straight to the battles. So, Survivor here has 90 HP and is a basic Pokemon. That already is very good. 90 HP for a basic, very good. But look here, we have the Venom Tail attack with 30 as the base damage and for a double colorless energy, you get to... Um, discard an energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon if the if that Pokemon is affected by a special condition. Now that's pretty disruptive so all you need to do is get a special condition on your opponent's active Pokemon and you can guaranteed discard an energy to it and do 30 damage to it. Today we are going to be focusing on this Venom Tail attack and uh, we are going to try and make a somewhat viable deck out of Survivor and have a ton, a ton of fun with it. That is the goal of today. We are playing four copies of the Survivor and then we are playing a 2-2 line of Spinarak and Ariados. Ariados with the Poisonous Nest allows, allows to poison both active Pokemon and there you have it. That is the special condition that we are going to use. But wait a minute here. That means we are poisoning ourselves as well and you're right, we are. But we are going to prevent any damage or any poisoning by playing Sparkling Robe on our survivors. Four survivors, four copies of the Sparkling Robe. And then finally, the last Pokemon in this deck are a 2 2 line of Scrub and Dragalge. Scrub and Dragalge with the Poison Barrier, your opponent's Poison Pokemon can't retreat. Look at that synergy. That synergy is marvelous. Poison Barrier with Poisonous Nest with Venom Tail. What a poisonous deck this is. So the strategy is poison our opponent, lock it in the active spot and do 30 damage to it while we discard an energy to it. Uh, and that way we can um, get around uh, Pokemon with low retreat cost because we are locking this Pokemon with low retreat cost in the active spot. Uh, and that is necessary because we are only doing 30 damage to it plus the poison damage. So we need to keep that Pokemon in the active spot need to keep discarding energies and keep doing damage to it until we knock it out. That is the strategy of this deck. Um, um, a hard counter to this deck is Zoroark with the standing ability. You are going to have a really hard time against the Zoroark with the standing ability. As well as against other grass decks or rather against grass decks because we cannot poison their active Pokemon. However, there is a way around that, and that is using the first attack of Survivor with Venomous Fang. Does 10, and then you get to flip a coin if heads your opponent's active Pokemon is now poisoned. So that way you can get around it. It's a little bit of, uh, yeah, you gotta have a bit of luck, but you can still pull it off. Uh, certainly, you can still pull it off, but it's going to be a little bit harder. So that's it for the Pokemon line. We are playing five Psychic Energies. Uh, three double colorless energies and one water energy. Now the five psychic energies, that is clear why. Uh, we just attach one to the survivor together with a dimension valley. That is enough to attack. If we don't have a dimension valley in play, we can still use these double colorless energies and attack that way. This water energy here, uh, you can also attack with the water energy and a dimension valley because we need only one single colorless energy if we get the dimension valley. But this water energy is basically in this deck for uh, the moment that we uh, are in such a bad position that we need to attack with Dragology here. Then we can use this water energy and do a poison breath. So really for a worst case scenario, that's the only reason why this water energy is in this deck. Um, and that leaves the trainer cards to be discussed. We are playing three Birches and three Sycamores for the draw support. No Shamans, no Octillery, no Abyssal Hand from the Octillery. Then we are playing some Disruptive cards. Four Crushing Hammers to disrupt uh, our opponent's benched Pokémon. We will discard energies to the benched Pokémon with the Crushing Hammers. We will use the Team Flag Grunt for our first turns, if possible. So, because in our first turn we cannot use the Venom Tail, the discarding effect, because we cannot poison our opponent's Pokémon yet, because we need to evolve into the area those. So then we can use the Team Flag Grunt, stall a bit that way. And we are also using one copy of Giovanni's Scheme. Giovanni's Scheme is in this deck as a Night March counter, because uh, assume you are facing a Pumpkaboo, you are doing 30, but you want to knock out this Pumpkaboo in one turn, so you do 30, you do 10 of the poison damage, which is 40, and then you 
play Giovanni's scheme, do 20 more and you knock out the Pump Kaboo in one turn, which is necessary to keep up with the price trade against Night March. And finally we are playing a two bridges here, two bridges to get out our Pokemon on the bench easier. Uh, two of them so that is a little bit more consistent because you don't play shaman of anything like that to help with consistency and that's about the most important part of this deck we do have the typical battle compressor vs seeker combo for supporters and whatnot we have some level balls and ultra ball as well as the trainer's mail even a, a, a head ringer to disrupt my opponent so i think i think i will call it the end of the deck analysis here if you have any questions or suggestions just put them down below if you enjoyed this video leave a like and subscribe for more silly deck ideas but for now we will go into the battles and have a ton of fun with the viper and so the journey begins we start off with papa yulele papa yulele I forgot to take a look at what type of Pokemon Papa Yulele plays. It says we lost a coin flip, that's okay. We can start off with Viper hopefully and then discard my opponent's energy card. Uh, if, if possibly. No, not really because we need to evolve into Ariados first. So, we do start off with the Viper and that's pretty good. Uh, probably go for a Venomous Fang. And use this crushing hammer if my opponent attaches to the active but that doesn't seem to happen because my opponent has a shaman in the active spot so i think my opponent will attach to the wobbuffet or maybe do a sky return who knows although i don't think my opponent plays double colorless energies you don't see them in psychic decks quite that often let's see here my opponent discards a judge a lysander and a wally Hey, Wally. Okay, and not a shaman. As well as a Gengar. So this is going to be a uh, yeah. My opponent's going to be using the Gengar, then rotate back into the Wobbuffet. Okay, that's okay. Our opponent will be poisoning it, poisoning us though. That's pretty annoying. We get a <laughs> we get to one water energy in our deck. Uh, look at that, my opponent attached a double color, so let's try and discard it, shall we? Uh, we miss out, oh well. Uh, let's play down the Dimension Valley, why not? We will go for the Sycamore, don't want to use those. I want to get a, yes, there we go, I want to get a Psychic Energy. We even get another, another Crushing Hammer, this time it's going to be heads. I told you so, I told you so, and my opponent actually played double colorless because that's kind of so my opponent surprised me there with that double colorless so let's get the let's let's see let's get the scrub here yes definitely want to get the scrub and we will uh, probably attack after looking at this trainer's mail where we get another crushing hammer my goodness so many crushing hammers already and here we go uh, venomous fang uh, ah, let's go for the Venom Tail. I'm okay with Venom Tail. So my opponent needs another double colorless energy, and yeah, it definitely plays double colorless because of the Dark Corridor. I should have known when I looked at the Gengar. Because the Gengar needs three energies. So it's pretty good to decide to play a double colorless if you need a double colorless in your attack cost. He probably also plays a Dimension Valley, my opponent. But then, even still, it's good to play those double colors because you can always get the dimension value out. And my opponent does have another double colors in his hand. Will definitely be using the sky return on us. So this 30 damage has gone to waste, or will be going to waste. But we wasted my opponent's uh, attachments on the shaman, so that's pretty good. We stalled my opponent. My opponent's probably going to put the wab effect in the active spots. Hopefully we can get the Dragalge and the Ariados on our bench. And then we can just lock up the Wobbuffet in the active spot. Until we knock it out. Simple as that. And here we go, Sky Return for 30. On our Survivor, here comes the Wobbuffet. Let's see, what do we get from this trainer's mail? A Sparkling Robe. 
Very nice. I will definitely be using the sparkling rope onto the Surviper. And unfortunately, I, I actually want to keep that crushing hammer, but uh, you do want to draw, draw into that Dragalge and the Ariado. So I'm going to. Oh, here we go. We have the Dragalge. And we can even get the Ariados. We even have a Headringer. I'm going to try and keep the Headringer in my hand. Actually, going to discard this energy and the Sacred Ash. And going to see to which Gengar my opponent attaches. And then put the Headringer down. Uh, let's see here. Here's the Ariados. Let's put down the Ariados. Let's put down the other Survivor. And let's use our VS Seeker before the... Uh, what's it called? I forgot the name. Trevenant! Trevenant, that's the name. Before the Trevenant comes into play... Uh, yeah, actually, if the Trevenant comes into play, we can't play the Headringer, so... Huh. I'll take my chances. So we are going to go for a... Um, a Venom Tail. That's what we shall go for here. Hit for 60. We will probably get knocked out here because the Wobbuffet is going to hit us for 60 because we have 30 damage on us. And here we go, my opponent attaches a Muscle Band to this Gengar, so we can't even attach a Headringer to the Gengar anymore. And there we go, we get knocked out, so we will attach the Headringer to the other Gengar. Uh, promotes this Survivor. And we even get the energy that we need. Let's let's go use the Sycamore. Oh wow, look at that. We are just steaming, steamrolling through the game. Venomous Fang, no, Venom Tail, here we go. Venom Tail, knocking out the Wobbuffet. No problem. Uh, e evening out the prize lead. Oh, we get a, a um, Dimension Valley. Not too useful for us right now, not too useful. And here comes the Trevenant. If my opponent manages to evolve the Phantom, that is... I hope not, because we <laughs> we've got a uh, three item cards in our hand. I didn't want to use the Crushing Hammer, because, yeah, my opponent does not have any energy attached. Oh, there we go, finally. You see some energies come down. We will... Um, let's see here. Hmm... I want to license her out that Gengar. Hmm. We don't have anything to get it, so I don't want to see that Trevenant. Then we can use this Trainer's Mill, maybe get a Lysander that way. That would be awesome. However, we need to be fairly lucky if to do so. To do so, yeah. My opponent is deciding here what to do. Attaches a double colorless, uh, a double colors, a muscle band to the shaman, discards his own Lysander. Where is it? Here. My opponent plays two Lysanders and evolves into the Trevenant. So, oh my goodness, we missed out. Even uses this Sycamore and is down to 13 cards. Wow. My opponent needs to watch out here because, oh, and we even see the, oh, even see the Flowstone. So this is pretty annoying for us. Um, but we can lock this Trevenant uh, in the active spot by poisoning it. Just like that. So here we go. We shall poison the Trevenant. And start chipping away at it. With the Venom Tail. Wait. Oh, I don't have a sparkling rope. Ah, oh, well, that sucks. Uh, at least, at least, this Trevenant will go down before our Surviper. And we have another one on our bench. Ah... Uh, yeah, my opponent does need to have a get a VS seeker somehow to use his Lysanders if he wants to do so, because this Trevenant is stuck in the active spot. So this Gengar is not able to hit us to come into play until this Trevenant is knocked out. 
by our survivor or by poisoning damage. And my opponent concedes the match. My opponent concedes the match. Can you believe it? I, I can't believe it actually. I, I'm having trouble believing this. Because my opponent definitely had a chance here, but uh, I guess uh, he didn't. He didn't see how he could beat us. Viper was just, just uh, too threatening. Yeah, seems like it. So let's take a look at the stats here. We did 180 damage, uh, about to the same amount of cards. Yeah, pretty equal stats. Uh, I would have liked to see how this would have played out. I think we had a shot at it. I think my opponent had a shot at it as well. Anyways, I think we will move on to another game. Game number two. And we are facing Lindau 3, 4, 5 with a Psychic Darkness. And what... Um, pardon me. Was it metal? Was it colorless? I don't know. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? <clears throat> I've got some sort of frog in my, my throat. Probably a toad. Nasty toads. We start off with a Viper once again. Having a lot of luck here starting off with the right... The right uh, basic in the active spot. We see, oh my goodness, we see a Evil Tall EX and a Lugia. So this is pretty threatening. Uh, luckily, we don't play, uh, we don't need many energies attached to our Pokemon, but yeah, this is not what we want to see. We even see, oh my, this Evil Tall EX is getting powered up so we need to get those basics on our bench we need to get going here let's see what we can do we can get a Bridget that's pretty good I think I'll actually go for that uh, yeah I'll go for the Bridget and hopefully we can get a crushing hammer of this trainers mail let's see no we don't we get a dimension valley that's okay Um. Huh. Um, yeah, we'll go for the Bridget. I'm doubting to go for the Team Fly Grunt here. I think I'll actually go for the Team Fly Grunt instead because we don't have any other draw support. And that way we can try and stall a little bit here. We'll even. No, we keep the Dimension Valley and we'll go for the Venomous Fang. Try and poison my opponent. So that next turn we do succeed. So next turn we can use the Venom Tail and start looking up this evil tall in the active spot. Unless my opponent gets a switch. So I think that turned out pretty good. My opponent gets oh he gets a super scoop up. Are you kidding me? Uh wait. Did he scoop up the Lugia? What? <laughs> what? Um, okay, well, yeah, Survivor MVP, man, I'm, I'm telling you, Survivor is the boss, Survivor is that bomb, you, you're seeing it here, Evil Tal just concedes, that was so weird, I don't even know what happened there, let's go find ourselves another game, and the third game of the day, is, ooh, <laughs> wow, man, that is a very, very shiny person, Lepras 83. Wow, this uh, kind of reminds me of Dragon Ball Z here. Super Saiyan Lepras 83 uses Spirit Bomb. Man, Dragon Ball Z is so nice. I love Dragon Ball Z as well as Pokemon, of course, but I loved watching Dragon Ball Z when I was young. Planet Namek and stuff like that. Awesome stuff. Would we like to go first? Yes. I want to try and get out our basics. We will go first here. Uh, we start off with a Viper once more. Look at great hand, great, just great. We'll start off with this Viper. Put the scroll up. So only, the only thing we need right now is a Spinarak. Another Gengar, man. What's with these Gengar matchups? So many Gengar matchups. We will attach to the Viper. I actually discard this double colorless. Yeah, I don't wanna. I don't wanna risk drawing into four cards. Look at that, we get the level ball. Even get VS Seekers. Let's go for the Spinarak. 
here we go and we will even battle compress let's see what we can battle compress good time to take a look at our deck Bridget no need to see Bridget no Bridget no need to see Bridget uh, the uh, Lysander here um, let's see yeah Lysander seems like a good choice let's go for the Lysander and then we will end our turn Hopefully we can, uh, the ideal top deck I would like now is a Surviper. So we can attach these double colors to the Surviper. We see a, what was that, a Gengar Spirit Link. Oh, this is a Mega Gengar deck. Very interesting. Unfortunately, we don't have very good attacks for my opponent to use with this Mega Gengar. We will get hit with a Knight attack. Probably going to put the damage counters on the Spinarak. I'm, I'm assuming here, or the Skrull. So we see a Lysander for the Spinarak, okay. Huh. That's pretty annoying. Now we need to attach to the Spinarak. Oh well. Knight attack onto the Oh the Survivor. Okay, so what do we get? We get a uh, Crushing Hammer, but it was not in our favor. I'm going to attach to the spinner rack this double colorless. And I will go for a, a sycamore. A, yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go for the sycamore. Try and get the Dragalge and the Ariados. We do get the Dragalge. We even get the Ariados here with the level ball. So we've got everything that we need we are ready to go we even have the dimension valley uh, so everything is perfect let's retreat into the survivor we will discard the double colorless that's why we attached it in the first place and we will look at our at our trainer's mill we will go for the let's go for the giovanni scheme and we will get out another Another spinner rack. Oh, we don't have another one. Then we will get another Surviper. So that we can power it up next turn. Let's attach this sparkling rope to it as well. And oh I almost forgot. Use the poisonous nest onto the Gengar. And here we go. Time for the Venom Tail. Venom Tail onto the Gengar, discarding the energy. And just like that, we are in the game here. We are playing. My opponent can only do a night attack. Uh, so we need two more night attacks to get knocked out. He gets the Lysander once more. Annoying opponent here. Tries to stall. If he uses the Lysander, that is. Seems to... Oh, we, did, we do see the energy attachment. I was going to go for the Giovanni scheme, but I'm thinking the Professor Sycamore now. If we get Lysandered, which we do, so he's going to... Oh, he's going to evolve into the Mega Gengar here. Huh. Well, well, well. Well, well, well. Let's see. We need another energy. So we're gonna need to retreat again here. Uh, we even miss out on the energy. That's pretty annoying. Ah, let's go for the crushing hammer and discard that energy. And yeah, there's no way we can get the energy. So let's see what we have in our deck. Another crushing hammer. Yeah, it says brute noob deck. Ah, well, this noob deck is owning your ass, brother. All well, right, now that is uh, should keep quiet. Maybe we end up losing, that's possible. So we see another energy attachment. We are just going to keep discarding these energies with these crushing hammers. Uh, yep, there we go, and we will end our turn. Just like that. Let's just keep going. With this Brute Noob deck. That's the new name of this deck, Brute Noob deck. Ah, another Gengar comes down to play. 
So we definitely need that energy. Where is that energy? Can we get a energy? No, we cannot. And we shall... Oh, I, I keep forgetting to use the poisonous nest here. Pretty dumb of me. Pretty dumb. He could have been using this poisonous nest all this time. He probably have been scree screaming at my screen here. Why are you not using your poisonous nest? You dumb boot. That was... Uh, so we see more energies come into play. Uh, my opponent keeps attaching to the active one. My opponent does not learn. My opponent needs to be taught a lesson here. He should have attached to the bench. I don't know why he is attaching to the active Pokemon. Uh, we get a Sycamore. I don't really want to play the Sycamore. Let's just discard the energy again. And we will end our turn. We wait until we draw into an energy. We are patient here. We've still got 12 turns to go, so we are okay with that. A okay. And there comes a Wobbuffet. My opponent still only uh, still has 37 cards in his deck. What is he doing? Why is he going so slow? Here we go. We have the energy. Let's retreat this uh, Ariados into the. It's Viper and Venom Tail. It is discarding the energy once more. Let's take a look at my opponent's discard. Five energies in a discard pile. Look at that. Five energies down the drain with this brute new deck. Uh, even Adam attaches a double colorless. I don't know what my opponent is thinking. Just attached to the bench, man. And he's. Uh, yeah. Ah. Brute noob deck, but I think my opponent was kind of a bit of a noob there. No offense to my opponent, but uh, even with our, with our with, with us forgetting to poisonous nest, his Gengar, he kept attaching to the active. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I don't want to judge, but I think that was pretty bad choice. So, let's see. How long are we playing here? I think it's time. We have time for another match. Because our opponents keep conceding here. I don't really like that. I want to see a good match. So, uh, let's find ourselves another match. And the last match of the day is Polyplectron with another Psychic and then some water in it. Another Psychic and a water deck. So, will we see a Gengar again? This Gengar coin is bringing us a lot of Gengars. I clicked heads, I'm not sure what happens. The coin is stuck. Time has frozen. We won the coin flip! Thank goodness. Yes, I will go first again. Try and set up here. So far, we have been able to set up pretty well. We <laughs> Man, we are so lucky we start off with the Zangus once more. Yeah, I can't complain about the, the first hand. Another gr pretty great hand. I hope my opponent plays EX so we can put down this Headringer. That would be uh, fantastic. Fantastic. So my opponent has pretty nice sleeves. We have no sleeves. And a uh, wow effect. So these wild effects, they uh, they seem to like to come into play here. Let's see what should we do. Um, I will attach to the, to the viper. Then I will attach the sparkling robe. And I will Professor Birch. Hopefully we can draw into seven cards, which we do. But we also we do get a. Um, a level ball. We are going to go for the Spinarak for sure here. Spinarak, and then we will go for the Zengus. And we will even um, use this Battle Compressor. Thin out our deck a little bit and take a look at it. We have a Lysander. Don't want to see the Lysander. I don't want to see uh, the Bridget really right now. Because we do have the Spinarak already. Uh, and we even have another Bridget in our deck. What do I else not want to see? This Team Flag Grunt, I'm going to discard it, so hopefully we can draw into it with a VS Seeker, something like that. So that would be great. We are going to end our turn. And see what my opponent decides to do. Will we see another Gengar? I wonder what the water Pokemon is. So we see a Mystery Energy. Mysterious. We will get hit for a Psychic Assault if my opponent gets a Dimension Valley. It does discard an energy, so that's already one energy less that we need to discard. 
as well as a battle compressor gets a remoraid ah that's pretty interesting i could i could actually add that to this deck the remoraid that could be a possibility could be pretty nice but uh, we are playing without a remoraid right now so my opponent decides to get the dimension valley helping us out in turn as well we will get hit for 20 that's okay because we will hit my opponent for 60 and we will uh, no no need to play this crushing hammer because we can poison my opponent and then discard oh no we can't because of the uh, this wild effect uh, crazy is ah uh, uh, wild effects they are very powerful blocking our uh, our ability here because he is in the active spot we will attach to the Zangus on the bench and then it will take two turns here to knock out the Wild Effect, but that's okay. We can take our time. My opponent needs to get some other Pokemon. And we need to get a top deck here because we are uh, we are without a hand. My opponent does get a VS Seeker. What's in his... He gets a Skyla. Skyla for a Sycamore maybe. I don't see what my opponent would get here. Maybe a Muscle Band. That could help. That would knock us out, actually. Because that would do 20 plus 20 is 40. And then weakness is 80. 80 plus 20 is 100. 100 is more than 90. So that means we go to the discard pile. And he gets a... Uh, ooh. A trainer's mail. And a ultra ball discards the trainer's mail. Okay. Uh, well. Interesting. Interesting. And I forgot. Oh, so he gets the... Oh, that was pretty good play. He gets the artillery. Draws into five more cards with Abyssal Hand, but he cannot do that because uh, his Water Fat here blocks the ability. So I'm not sure what my opponent was thinking there. Yeah, not not quite sure. Yeah, that was pretty funny. Well, I think we need another game. I thought this was going to be the last game, but it is not going to be the last game. So on to the last game. Okay, the last match of the day against Raven Senji with a Night March deck, maybe? Yeah, possibly, because my Lotic Night March, I'm guessing. Seeing as though the type of Pokemon I saw there, we get to go first. Night March is not an ideal matchup for us. So I do hope it's not Night March. I'll start off with the Survivor. Put the spinner rack on our bench. We have a pretty great hand, really great. So it, it is night march, as expected. Uh, we will even get the uh, another viper. No need to get a scrap right now. Uh, we will then play the the Bridget. Let's go for the Bridget. And get these on our bench ready to go and that is the end of the turn and this so viper is probably going to get knocked out so i uh, i should have kept the double colorless in my hand if i could i'm not sure yeah well so we do see the double colorless and there we go my opponent starts uh, is going to start the chain for the Nightmare Jack. We see the Sycamore discarding a ooh, discarding a double colorless. So we have a chance here. If my opponent cannot get out the Milotic and does not get enough double colors, then we might actually be able to pull this off. Um, but yeah, this is not our ideal matchup. Ideally, I want to use this Giovanni scheme next turn to do 30, 20, and then 10 for poison damage. We see Night March for nothing. Are you kidding me? Wow, that is amazing. And look at that, we top deck deep psychic energy. Oh, this is just heavenly. This is, uh, wow, look at that. We are going to knock out this uh, Pumpkaboo with the Viper here. Go for the poisonous nest. And uh, we will knock it out with the Venom Tail. Just like that, we are taking a prize lead against Nightmares because of a bad start from my opponent. That is amazing. We do poison ourselves, but that's okay because I'm not expecting these survivors to stay alive very long. Get another spinner egg, that's okay. We are going to go for the Professor Sycamore next turn. And we will 
get rid of this Feebas here, deny my opponent the Milotic, that is what we want to do, if we can. Oh, my opponent scoops up the Feebas and concedes the match, are you kidding me? Man, this survivor deck is so crazy, like, everyone concedes against it. I am lost for words here. My opponent had a terrible hand though, so... But still... But still... Well, well... Well, um... Do we go for another match? Uh, third time's the charm. Okay, let's go for another match and this is for sure the last match. Uh, here we go. That was pretty quick. And it is against Matty. Matty Hopus. Hello, Matty. Uh, it's pure fire deck, pure fire. Hmm. Very interesting, very dangerous with the blacksmith. Can overcome our survivor pretty easily. So we start off with nothing. Very nice sleeves for my opponent, the pyro sleeves. They were in the shop last week, I think, or two weeks ago, something like that. Uh, we start off with the survivor, survivor. Go Survivor! Do we see Pyros? That would be pretty cool. Uh, we see a... Ooh, it's a uh, Typhlosion deck. I, I I know that deck. Needs only one energy attachment, the Typhlosion deck, so uh, we gotta be... Yeah, this is going to be tough for us. Because uh, my opponent only needs that one energy and plays like probably like 30 energy or something like that. 15 energy, a lot of energies in my opponent's deck, I'm betting. Uh, so, yeah. We will go for a um, double colorless. We will get the Spinarak. And then we will get the Dragalge. What am I saying? The Scrub. We will get the Scrub. Or maybe another Zangoose. Huh. I'm going to go for another Zangoose actually. Because this one is probably going to get knocked out in the active spots. Now we'll play down the stadium and go for the Sycamore. Sycamore, yes. Sycamore it is. Sycamore it is. So here we go. We get a crushing hammer. Pretty nice. Tails it is. Okay, well, might as well go for this crowd now. Uh, no need for another survivor at the moment. And we will start. Ah, we can't actually do anything. Oh, oh yeah, we can because it's second turn. So we'll go for the Venom Tail. Yeah, let's do that. Venom Tail. Onto the Cynequil. The Cynequil uh, can needs a rare candy to evolve into the Typhlosion, or needs the Quillava. We see the rare candy. We see the Typhlosion. We are going to get knocked out. My opponent needs uh, two energies in his. Uh, the cards that he's going to discard, that's all he needs. That's probably going to work, so we will have to promote another Zangoose. This Headringer is of no use to us, look at that. Two energies was all he needed, and that's what happened. So we will promote this Zangoose, and we will try and get the Ariados, as well as the Dragalge, even though we don't really need the Dragalge right now. Because, yeah, I don't think my opponent wants to retreat. I only need a single energy attachment anyways. So you do get the area dose. You also get another sparkling robe. We'll go for the poison. And we will start do our thing with the Venom Tail. Venom Tail discarding the energy to my opponent's active Pokemon. Start put some damage onto it. Um... And there we go, so we see another energy attachment, uh, two energies it is, so we, we go down again. My goodness, this, we are in a pickle here. This is a very bad matchup for us. But we get a uh, secret ash, pretty nice, I will get back these Sangus. Oh, I, why am I saying Sangus? Because it's on, on this card, this card is freaking... Freaking confusing. Let's see, let's count. 30, 20, that's 50. 50 and 8 is 130, 140. We are 10 short to knock out this Typhlosion. Ha! Huh. I will actually go for the Sycamore then. Not gonna use the Giovanni. 
I will go for the crushing hammer. Uh, discard this energy here to this Cyndaquil. Put down this Viper. Attach a sparkling rope, and we are on our merry way here. Now let's go discard this energy to this Typhlosion. Next turn, this Typhlosion is going to go down. And we will take our first prize. We are quite behind in a prize lead. So we just have to hope that we stay alive somehow. And we stay alive here. That is it. That is it. My opponent is going to go down with this Typhlosion. So we broke his uh, we broke his uh, streak here. I will attach to this Surviper. And... Actually, I will just... Uh, huh. We have two VS Seekers in the discard pile. I'm gonna keep this VS Seeker for a Giovanni. Now I'm going to use Venom Tail. Knock out this explosion. So now my opponent again needs a... Rare Candy and... Another fire energy. My opponent's already down to 21 cards. He has got four rare candies in a discard. So my opponent's kind of, kind of, yeah, um, kind of fucked. <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna lie. My opponent's kind of in a pickle here. So this is actually a pretty good game because this is a very bad matchup for us, and we are kind of pulling it off. So. Because my opponent discarded these important cards and my opponent sees it and concedes the match and that is the end of today's episode. That is the end of it. I have played so many matches with this deck in playtesting and stuff like that and uh, I have had, really, I've had a lot of fun with it but I've had enough for today so I'm going to call it the end of today. I hope you had a fantastic time, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, subscribe for more deck ideas like this. I hope you have a carptastic day and I will see you next time.